German Jews fleeing Germany. As of 1933, there is a population of 522,000 Jews living in Germany. By the rise of the Nazi party in 1939, 60% of the German Jews emigrated during the years of World War II, during 1939 and 1945. 160,000 to 180,000 German Jews were killed during World War II and 6 million Jewish people overall. While the Jews were trying to flee Germany, the Nazis created stricter laws that made it very hard for them to leave. And even if they did leave, not many countries were willing to let them in, including America. 304,000 German Jews emigrated to the neighboring countries such as Belgium, France, and Schleswig-Holstein during the first year, six years of the war. Even then, a lot of countries that the refugees went to were later conquered by the Nazi regime. Nazi-sponsored legislation continuously made life harder for the Jews still in Germany until the radical laws began in 1941 in East Germany, which marked the Jews with the Star of David, sent them to live in ghettos and camps, and made it illegal to leave Germany. In May 1939, a boat of 935 Jews left Hamburg, Germany, in hopes to make it to Cuba and eventually America. Even though America certainly had enough room for immigrants, they only gave 30% of 30,000 Germans visas. Because of this, those in the St. Louis arranged for visas in Cuba and would later try to get a visa for America. Cuba then proceeded to change its visa policy, effect, policy effective immediately right when the St. Louis was due to leave. Unfortunately, over 26 people were allowed off the boat into Cuba while the rest were moved towards America. The then president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, refused to take them and sent them back to Europe. Americans under, at the time were under the impression that World War II was not as dire as it seemed, but still refused to house the refugees. If those in the St. Louis were lucky, which many were not, they were sent to Great Britain, which financially supported Jewish refugees and could be able to militarily help if need be. Many others were sent to countries that the Nazis eventually conquered, like the Netherlands, Belgium, and France. Out of the 908 passengers on the St. Louis that made it back to Europe, 254 died during the Holocaust. In relation to the Ravenstein's laws of migration, this is an interesting case. It states that most migration is over short distances, but close to 5,000 miles were traveled just by boat across a giant intervening obstacle, the Atlantic Ocean. Yet 935 people on that boat still made it all the way. Another rule states that migration occurs in steps, which was true. They originally got visas for Cuba and hoped to later migrate to America's due to into America once they got the harder to get approved visas from there. A rule states that most migrants are adults, but the ones leaving Germany were all ages and genders, seeking refuge in other countries. The last applying rule says that migration is mostly due to economic reasons, when here it was because of religious persecution.